eight anchors in today's episode of the vlog. News from Brazil, supplies re-engineered, and the rusty barrels show down. What are we waiting for? Let's get going. Last week our 3D artists finished working on the new Dictator and Railgun for the new version of Tanki. All models for all of the modifications are ready. We paid extra attention to these two items as Railgun is the most popular gun in Tanki, while Dictator is the most unusual and distinctive of the hulls. Looks stunning, doesn't it? The guys from that department still need to create quite a lot of other turrets and hulls. And rest assured, we'll keep you updated on their work. About a week ago, we launched a special contest in the Brazilian Tanki. According to its rules, the first player to become a Juniorissimo would get a fully micro-upgraded M3 tank. And you know what? We already have the winner. His nickname is Limat J2. We remind you that the Brazilian version of Tanki was opened at the end of April, which means it took him less than five months to get to the top rank. Impressive! Tankers, brace yourselves! A major change is coming to Tanki Online. One of the upcoming updates will radically change the way supplies function. Get ready for a detailed explanation and listen carefully. We often receive complaints from players that the way supplies are configured can sometimes ruin the fun in the game. So we decided to look into this, collected more feedback, ran several tests and thanks to our players made a list of things that need to be changed. The result is smart cooldowns. With the smart cooldowns, activating one supply makes one or several others unavailable for a period of time. It makes it impossible to activate all supplies together. The way other supplies are affected and the resulting cooldown times will be different for each supply. Of course, all the information will be available in the garage. Here is how this new system will help. One of the most frequent complaints is how hard it is to destroy a tank that has all supplies activated. Smart cooldowns will solve this issue entirely, as it will now be impossible for someone to get an unfair advantage by activating all the supplies at once. Here is another example. When all the tankers in a battle start to actively use supplies, they tend to ignore supply boxes, because they become unnecessary. However, controlling drop zones for drop boxes is an important part of the game's mechanics. And because of supply abuse, it is often neglected. With the smart cooldowns, gaming experience and skill will become more important. Players will need to carefully think about which supply to use and which to capture as a drop box. Here is another important thing. Garage supplies and drop box supplies will now function in the same way. Both will be active for one minute. So if you only play using supply boxes, you will now be on a level playing field with those using garage supplies. If you are skilled enough, of course. By the way, nobody will be able to blame you anymore for driving around with all supplies active. This will only mean that you are a skilled and tactical tanker. Or just incredibly lucky. We'll also change the way supplies are displayed, to make their use easier to track and understand. The supply indicator will be split into two parts – active time and cooldown time. The exact parameters for smart cooldowns will need to be carefully tuned, and you will play a major part in this process. We'll invite you to an open test, and together we will fine-tune the system to make the game more interesting, diverse and dynamic. This whole process is expected to take around one month. As always, feel free to share your thoughts on the upcoming update in the Vlogs forum thread. Video of the week. This time we are sprinkling 40,000 crystals on the tanker who made this video. The final showdown of Rusty Barrels is getting closer and closer. On the 29th of August we held three battles that determined the best pair of players among the developers – their game designer Vladimir Kovtun and community manager Valery Schumann. The group stage was fun and the hours of training really helped. So here we are in the grand final waiting to face the players. As you could see, the battles were very tense. Frankly, Valeria and I didn't expect to win. I think beating the player teams will be a lot more challenging. This should be interesting. And no, don't even expect me to say anything about my team. 
Let's just say it wasn't a stellar performance. Now all that's left to do is to watch the finals livestream. By the way, this time some of the players taking part have pretty good ranks, including a commander and even a generalissimo. Should be interesting. And if you're watching us on Friday, do not miss the livestream of the final battles at 5 pm UTC on our eSports channel. Question of the week. In VLOG 11, we ask you who will survive. The correct answer is Hunter and Freeze in Roger. Here are the lucky winners who answered correctly and got the most likes on their comments. Now, let's watch the next question. And sadly, that's it for this week. We'll see you in seven days. In the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow Tanki on social media and like the video blog. Goodbye.